Having access to the internet is very surreal because here in my country, in Romania, nobody talks about COVID anymore. It's um, a dead subject. No one brings it up. On the streets, you can go into the most progressive places of my country. Nobody is masking up. No one is even talking about this. And yet, when you go on the internet and you see China having the zero COVID policy with people getting beaten by police officer, which is a similar image to what happened in Germany uh, a couple of uh, years ago, uh, it is very bizarre. Now, they are having massive protests due to the fact that they are doing something which uh, hasn't been done here in Europe or in the United States, and that is to lock people in their apartments so the entire apartment building is locked by the government and people can't get out or in i i don't know how they're supposed to get food i i have no idea what happens if you're like for example a child and uh, you were outside of your home when that apartment building was locked in i, I it, it's hard to figure it out because i don't uh, have people from china to talk about this issue uh, but it does seem that this is what they're doing. And um, one of the uh, atrocities that happened is that one of these buildings caught fire and the firefighters couldn't get in and the people couldn't get out. So they got uh, burned alive. And this sparked all of these massive protests, which are now taking place in China. And Apple is doing its part in order to help the Chinese government quell these protests. Uh, now, I understand that Apple is a very moral, progressive uh, company that stands for democracy and uh, helping America protect its democracy, which is why they don't really like Twitter that much now. And uh, apparently there are um, talks and they're trying to threaten Twitter off the platform, according to Elon Musk. Uh, but when it comes to China, like China pays its authoritarian tax, like China, muy strong, muy tsuyoi. So, of course, they're going to do everything possible in order to help the Chinese government. Now, what they have done is um, modify an app, which uh, is called AirDrop. And AirDrop is an app that has been used in the Hong Kong protests as well. It allows people to uh, form local network of devices that do not need the internet to communicate. So Apple now added a stealth update, which is only available for the foes in China. And apparently with this new update, the receive from everyone messages can only be turned on for 10 minutes before it switches back off. And there is no longer a way to keep the everyone setting on permanently on the Chinese iPhones. And this uh, change was noticed by the Chinese readers of 9 to 5 Mac and doesn't apply anywhere else. Again, um, I do understand that if you want to do business in an authoritarian country, you, you have to play by their rules because otherwise they can just ban you. Uh, Apple had many problems with China. I mean, they completely ripped off the iPhone. If you look at the Huawei, like there, there are, uh, they ripped it off so much that even the bugs were taken in the, the Huawei version. Um, and, of course, Apple couldn't sue for intellectual property because they were afraid that they would be kicked out of China. So so you have, like, that happening. Uh, but the problem with Apple is that it's a virtuous company. Like, it likes to virtue signal. It's a progressive, forward-thinking company, you know? And when it's like that, you, you, you no longer can say, well, uh, so, so why are you progressive like that in the United States, but you are free to do business with authoritarian governments? Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.